Let's say I think we're getting the hang of this. That was it's a hard flick. But we're managing. Oh wow, we have plenty. We have angles for days in this car. Hello everybody, I'm Evil Rabbit. We're here on Torque Drift 2 with a proper car. Make sure you guys follow me on all social media, all found in the description box below. Let's get into this. So before we get started with this episode, i got to give a massive thank you to the developers of Torque Drift and Torque Drift 2 for hooking me up with Adam LZ's S15, as well as a few other cars here in early access here in Torque Drift 2. This car does look super sick, and you guys can see it in the garage, but nobody's been able to drive it until today, where I'm going to go drive it. So we actually have a proper full power FD car here. We're out of the streets of Long Beach. We're going to go full send and see what we can do. So they were telling me to try the different camera, which is a little bit further back. So the camera I was running before was right here. It's to try a little bit further back camera, follow the car a little bit more. So we're just going to go full send and see uh, how this works. Because from what they're telling this car is just, oh yeah, lights up all gears. Oh yeah. <laughs> Gonna take this a little bit easy at first. Oh, it's totally different when you have a car that's got power. Okay. We got this. Oh, yeah. When you get a car that's just basically power on command, I need to be able to adjust my braking a little bit. My brake, my front brake's gonna lock up like right away. And I don't know if that's maybe just my braking curve set on my wheelbase, or maybe if it's something just that I need to tweak. All oh, is so different than driving a lower power 370, but we're getting it now. Oh yeah. <laughs> it definitely feels so different when you have a lot of power, but it feels so nice. Kind of got that feel of a, like almost like trying to overcome a wise fab, which is very nice to feel in a wheel. Let's say I think we're getting the hang of this. That was it's a hard flick, but we're managing. Oh wow, we have plenty. We have angles for days in this car. Angle for days. Phone's going off. I wonder who it was. Might be Adam LZ saying, hey, why are you drifting in my car? <laughs> Wasn't paying attention. All right. So, yeah, this car has power for days. This thing lights it up in almost every gear. Oh, man, this is... Woo! Yeah, this is, uh, this is definitely uh, a lot different than when I was trying that 350Z with the wheel physics. The wheel feels really heavy. When you're kind of a stop, it's kind of like almost like a manual rack style. Um, it could just be something with my Moza base. I know they were testing it with the Thrustmaster as well as the Fantec DD. So they're, I believe they're getting some Moza bases to uh, fully test it. We're gonna try to actually get a scoreable run, I guess. Gotta like pedal the throttle just to get going. Oh, that curve. Car does not like curves. As I say that, we go over the other curve. So, a lot of power difference, as you can see, when you have a car with a lot of power. They did give me another car with a little bit less power, but they say it's a riot to drift. So, we're going to give it a try. Can't thank the game devs enough for the hookup with Animal Z's S15 for a full drift car to fully kind of throw around and feel how the wheel kind of reacts. Definitely we need to get some wheel settings dialed in and stuff like that because I do feel a little bit of uh, hesitation in the wheel, but that could just be my settings. Like I said, I really need to figure out my braking, uh, my braking situation because right now kind of like my front brakes are locked and I'm kind of barely pushing on it. So I think it's either something in my pit house app that I need to adjust the brake curve or it's uh, 
maybe just something I would need to adjust when I have the ability to tune the car with, say, uh, brake bias control or pressure and stuff like that. But for early access on this car, oh yeah, we're getting it now. We're gonna make that, oh, see, I would need a little bit of left foot brake there to slow down a little bit and not uh, lock up the front, because as soon as I locked up the front brakes, it kind of just went right into the wall. So that's something I need to look into, maybe uh, see if that's maybe a tuning thing that I can work with or something on the long lines of maybe just adjusting my brake control, but yeah. When you have a full car like this, it's just so much fun just to smoke it up. So let's go take a look at the other car they sent me that they said is a riot to drive, even though it's lower powered. Let's go take a look. So, like I said, we have a few cars. So we have NMLZ's S15 that they uh, graciously gave me to drip around. For some reason, I'm still having a weird loading thing going on. Uh, you know, it could be just something on my computer since I got so much background going on or early access not a big deal though we have a 240z so they've hooked me up with 240z and said it sounds amazing and it's fun to throw around even though it's low power so let's go throw it around and see what kind of fun we can have in a low powered 240 Make sure you guys follow me on all social media, all the description box below. Make sure you guys follow Torque Drift too if you guys want more updates on this. Once again, a big thank you to the game devs for hooking me up with some early access stuff to uh, bring you guys some content and shake around the game with wheel physics for testing and you know input and stuff like that. Uh, great to work with these guys since the original Torque Drift and now, oh yeah. All right, let's see what it sounds like. Make sure I'm on the right camera. Oh, that sounds good. Yep, definitely a lot less power. But we're kind of just going to clutch kick this car. I say that, we're going to handbrake it. Okay. Other than... That wall grabbed me. That, that NRG prison banner was like, Hey, uh, we're going to stop you. So, that was pretty fun off the rip. So we're just going to go and see about just chugging this car around. I can see what they say, why they say it's a, Ooh, it's a fun car to drive until you're into the wall. So I think I'm going to go through and try and, uh, very fine tune some settings on the wheel and stuff like that and see if we can't get the most optimal feeling right now. Now, like, I, they are working on wheel physics and stuff like that. Oh, that curbs. This is kind of a ride to just truck around now. Yep. <laughs> I can see what they mean by this car is a fun car to drive. Um, but the wheel physics probably are not fully there yet for the Moza, but I know they are working on getting it to uh, feel great on all wheels. But I'm actually very happy with how it feels right now. Yeah, this car's a this car's a ride to drift. Oh, this car you can just chuck it around. Oh, if my thumb wouldn't have fallen off my wheel. Let's kick it. Yep, not not as much smoke, which is kind of cool that there's not crazy amounts of smoke on the lower power cars compared to like say Adam LZ's car, which is kind of true to you know real life where lower power cars wouldn't be throwing up as much smoke. Yeah, see that's an instant lockup. That's something I need to address. I'm gonna try this one more time. So if you guys want to keep seeing more Torture Two, let me know down in the comment section down below as well as like and subscribe. I would appreciate all the support. The devs are hooking me up with stuff periodically so I can bring you guys more stuff. Clutch kick. Down. So that we can get a little more into this game while it's still here in early access. Once again, um, I thank you guys for coming back for another episode. I'm Evil Rabbit. 
Oh man, this car's a, this this car is a ride to truck around. Ooh, no wall. Wall tap. <laughs> People have it. I'll see you guys on the track.